Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different 12 YouTube channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day like me. And if not, you better be manifesting, planning, and preparing for a better one because it is surely coming to you all for sure. Um, Alrighty you guys, happy Sundays. Today is Sunday and so you know if you have uh, been rocking out with your girl, you know that Sundays are our days to drop our spiritual uh, motivational or inspirational vlogs for those out there that may need it. Um, but before we get into that, uh, those that are new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name again is different. I am an author, motivational speaker, and CEO of my own business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society and our products in which we educate, entertain, and inspire all at once. Excuse me, this little out of sequence, but you get the gist of what I'm saying. <laughs> so uh, if this is your first time, welcome to my YouTube channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, this is more than uh, your second time coming to my channel welcome back thank you for rocking out with your girl so getting back into it like I said this is a, another Sunday vlog that I'm dropping with you guys um, this one is going to be titled why so much pain um, a lot of the times when people are um, going through like spiritual battles or you know questioning you know what well, is God real or you know is there an afterlife uh, they ask this question well you know if God is real then why does he allow so much pain into the world why does he allow so much death or you know little kids to be murdered and killed you know why does he allow so much and um looking back using my life as you know a reference looking back on all that I've been through you know all the trials and tribulations that I've gone through and the only answer that I have been able to come up with uh, sufficiently is uh, the reason why you know we go through so much pain or God allows for trials and tribulations to come to us it is only to make us bigger better and stronger than we were in the past um, realizing and going back and looking back in my life and, and and seeing you know how everything and every stepping stone that was thrown at me and came into my way uh, it was not meant to block me but it's in some way set me up for the next step and level in my life for instance um, being put in foster care by a relative uh, I, I, for the longest you know I was hurt by that and you know I held on to that but it wasn't until you know I went to college and realized what that family member did to me it might have been you know uh, a, a mean-spirited thing to do but it was a blessing in disguise because of what happened you know although I did spend four years in foster care being shuffled around in the system and it was pain in itself there was a blessing that came out of that because afterwards I got to go to college for free and then ended up getting a degree and within that opportunity and then so many opportunities opened up for me going across the world starting my own student organization you know finding out that I'm meant to be you know a motivational speaker and like sharing my story you know that's where it all stemmed from for me and so when people ask that question you know why does God allow me to go through this is why is he why do so many things keep happening to me you know in my life that you know it's, it's it doesn't seem like you know it's getting me anywhere that's because you have to think you know God doesn't give you know his his hardest battles to his weakest soldiers he only gives it to those you know that are strong and so he's not going to give you always know he won't give you no more than you can bear and that whatever you are going through you will get through it as long as you believe in yourself believe in his will and trust in his will and just know that even though God may not answer your prayers whenever you want him but he is always on time he might not come when you want him but he's always on time and even if he doesn't give you or, or answer your prayers the way that you expect that most of the time it's going it's bigger and better that's what i've noticed as well you know i used to pray and ask god you know for some little and small and then he turns around and bless me with something bigger and better that i never even thought i knew i needed and so that's how you have to see it as and and also look at it as this without any evil in the world you, you know god can't show his wondrous work he can't show you his marvelous miracles and, and perform them for you if there is no places that he can go. And so that's also in ties into, you know, the balance in life, you know, good and evil, the yin and yang in life. And so, you know, you need evil in the world, so to speak, <laughs> so that the light can shine. I, I know that sounds bad to say, so to speak, but those out there, you know, who are listening and, and understanding, you know, the concept of what I'm saying, you, you get where I'm coming from. So um, those out there that are struggling, 
Uh, I want you to know that you are not alone. I've also had that, you know, back and forth. You know, why God, why are you bringing me through this? What does this mean? Uh, just know and understand that whatever you are going through that may be seeming too much to handle, just know that it is preparing you for something amazing that is coming towards you in life. When all the evil comes towards you, you're going after your dreams and it seems like, you know, the rug gets swept under you, doors are closing, you know, everything that, you know, that you had you thought was working out for you is now falling apart. That just means, you know, your breakthrough is coming. So stay the course and stay focused and never give up. And never lose faith. That's also one. Um, also, I don't want to just keep chitting, chatting, talking with you guys. Like I said, when it comes to motivation and motivating others, you need to hear from more than one person. And so, uh, one of the you know spiritual leaders I like to you know look up or uh, watch watch a lot of his videos is uh, Bishop T D Jakes. And so I was looking at one um, in one of his vlogs or whatever he he titled his why why pain as well why so much pain and so i think this you know would be a good one to collaborate and tie with so without further ado check it out and once it's done we'll come back on and talk a little bit more about how to deal with the pain that you're going through and then talk a little bit more about what's going on in different school and so forth so here it is and check it out I want to talk about seasons of crying. Seasons of crying. I was raised not to cry. So I have to climb over top of everything I was taught to cry. Because I was denied permission to cry. So crying hurts. And when crying hurts, my soul has no way to irrigate itself from the stress it has incurred. Grief doesn't leave if tears don't flow. I need to be able to release. I need to be able to cry. Hear me, brothers. I need to be able to cry. Not crying doesn't make you stronger, it makes you sick. I don't walk around crying all the time, but when I need to cry, I need to let out. There are seasons in your life where you are mourning. And don't nobody have to be dead. You can be mourning the job you lost, the house you didn't get, the age you're at, the stage you're at, you can be mourning the lack of companionship. There are a lot of things you can mourn about that create a season of crying. Whether you see him do it or not, he cries. He may wait till you sleep, but he cries. And thank God he does. Because if he doesn't, he's going to die or commit suicide or drive his car into a river. Tears are a gift from God to ventilate the soul when you have ingested too much pain, tears are a sign to God, I need you. There is a cry. The kids can be playing in the backyard and they make a noise and hollering and you don't pay them no attention. But there is a cry that will make you drop a plate on the floor and run out there with soap suds on your hands because there is a cry that gets your attention as a parent. As it is with you, so it is with God. There is a cry that will get God's attention, that will arrest him and stop him in his tracks. If you don't believe it, ask blind Bartimaeus, who sat by the highway, said begging. But when he heard Jesus was passing by, 
the Bible said that blind Bartimaeus began to cry and he cried till he got on people's nerves and he cried till they told him to shut up but the more they told him to shut up the louder he cried and the Bible said can I preach a minute the Bible said that blind Bartimaeus cried till Jesus stood still there is a cry that will arrest the Lord there is a cry that will get God's attention I heard David say this poor man cried and the Lord heard him and delivered him out of all his troubles if you would open your mouth and cry God would deliver you the children of Israel were down in Egypt and Bible says Moses go down and let my people go for I have heard the cry of my people what's wrong with you is that you keep your mouth closed if you open your mouth and cry God will come and rescue you no wonder the winds couldn't stop him. No wonder the waves couldn't stop him. Jesus had to make it to the other side because he heard one of his children crying. Somebody open up your mouth and just holler. Somebody has left you for dead, but I dare you to open your mouth and holler. I'm still here. I'm still alive. They threw Jonah in the belly of a fish, and Jonah said, out of the belly of the fish cried I, and the Lord heard me. If you make your bed in hell and cry out, God can hear you. Elkanah came to church to worship, but Hannah came to church to cry, and the Bible said she staggered up to the altar like a drunk woman and cried out bitterly before God sister stop fussing and start crying stop nagging and start crying if you start crying God will deliver you I feel like getting my preach on Jesus cried he came to Mary and Martha's house and the Bible said Jesus wept and if Jesus can cry, every man in here, open your mouth and holler. In the book of Revelation, it said that I heard the cry of souls crying out up under the altar, saying, Lord, how long? Somebody say, how long? You've been in a condition for a long time. You got a right to cry and tell God enough is enough because if you cry out, God will deliver you. If you cry out, God will set you free. I'm sick of this. I've had enough of this. I don't want no more of this. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you all enjoy watching that inspirational, spiritual inspirational uh, clip um, uh, titled Why So Much Pain, and I got that from T.D. Jake's uh, uh, YouTube channel, so be sure to show him some love and check him out as well. And in the midst of that video, you guys saw that um, what that the person was going through, um, I think it was cancer that he had, and just seeing that he was in, you know, so much pain, but at the end, you know, it, it, it turned out well for him, so to speak, you know, it, it may start off, you know, rough in the beginning, but in the end, if you keep going, whatever you're going through in life, you know, be it a spiritual, you know, a physical battle, a financial battle, <laughs> battling your relationships, you know, your career-wise, whatever type of battle you're going through, a mental battle, whatever, just know if you stay the course, keep focused and keep going, 
you will eventually, you know, reach your destination, your finishing point. So stay the course. Don't give up. No matter what, you know, the world is throwing at you, you know, and you feeling like you can't handle it. Please know and understand that in that course, look at it as this. What's being thrown at me is meant to make me stronger. And I always say it, and I try to keep it, you know, um, uh, clean here. But what doesn't break a person will make a person. And so just know that with God, that with any battle that's thrown your way, he won't give you no more than you can bear. And you can handle anything that he, you know, allows to come your way. That's just like... Um, if we want to set, take a look for it and get biblical in, in the Bible, you know, Job, he was tested, you know, 10 times over. You know, he lost all his his kids. You know, his wife died. He lost all his flock. His land, he lost everything. But then in the end, he still kept his faith. He still believed in God. And, you know, and God even allowed for the devil to test Job and, and take away everything. But in, in the end, still, he never lost his faith. He kept you know, the course, he understood that the pain that he was going through was only meant to make him stronger. In the end, God blesses him double, you know, gives him 10 more kids, another wife, you know, more larger land. And so that's how you have to look at it as life. Also, I want to give you guys a spiritual quip, this script as well. I even have this tagged on my back. It's Joshua 1 9. I always say this to myself anytime I'm feeling fearful or about to, you know, uh, attack any type of task or obstacle in my way, I always, you know, recite this scripture in my mind. And uh, Joshua 1, 9 states, Do not be afraid. Do not be terrified. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And so I carry that on my back. <laughs> you know, I have it tatted on my back. And so that's how um, you guys have to, or how I you know, look at it when I'm going through trials and tribulations and something that I feel like I can't face or I can't handle. I just recite that scripture, Joshua's 1 9. You know, don't be afraid, don't be terrified. Just know that God is with you wherever, you know, you go or wherever I go. And, so, and then I just do it. You know, and no matter the outcome, I know that I kept my faith in God and whatever happens, happens. It's going to be, it's going to work out in my favor, even if it doesn't work out the way that I planned it for. So, with that being said, you guys, I want to move on and close out uh, this vlog. If you like my vlog in regards to, you know, why so much pain when it comes to, you know, allowing God to have pain in your life, definitely show me by commenting, liking, sharing the video, and definitely subscribing to my YouTube channel, you guys. I do appreciate all the love and support that I am getting. Keep it coming. Also, don't forget, you can go to my website, differenceworld.net. You can check me out also on my other social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, as well as don't forget you can book me on my website if you would like for me to be a part of any type of social media, excuse me, not social media, but that as well, <laughs> or motivational speaking event or any grassroots conversations you'd like for me to be a part of, definitely head over to my website at differenceworld.net and book me. I'm free of charge as of now. But get in while you can. It won't be soon before long. Like I said, and every time uh, I, I will be one day speaking in front of millions of audience, millions of people, and, and, and I, I can't wait. And so, but I manifest, plan, and prepare for it. Uh, also, you guys, don't forget get my book "What If: A Controversial Paradigm Shift" available again on my website, differenceworld.net. A big a book. Excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> A book that's written to inform and encourage thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. And so again, be advised that it is intended for a mature audience. And so for those that cannot take this heat, you know what? I'm not even going to start saying it more. If you can't take that, this type of heat, still come to the kitchen. Because like I said, uh, this book is, is meant to encourage and stimulate thought-provoking conversations from all sides of the table. Even for, especially for those that like to turn a blind eye and don't you know, want to address this situation or the issues. This is for you as well. So if you can't take the heat, still come on in the kitchen. Okay? So with that being said, definitely again, go to my website, differenceworld.net and get your copy of my book, What If? A Controversial Paradigm Shift. Yeah. Alrighty, so with that, also, I'm uh, moving on down the line. What else we got coming up this week, you guys? Man, time is going by so fast. It's already the end of 2022. Uh, it's about to be a year since my mother passed, and so I'm just trying to get mentally and emotionally prepared for that. Um, staying busy, uh, making these vlogs, volunteering, working, <laughs> and uh, getting back into the gym. Uh, and so, uh, and just trying to make my mother proud. 
Um, and so with that being said, you guys, I want to take this time to do a mental health check for those out there that may, you know, need it or like myself as well. <laughs> and again, just to know anybody that's going through any type of mental anguish, being depression, anxiety, um, even feeling being bullied, uh, peer pressure, shit, that's, that's still mental anguish. Uh, what else we have? Um, I don't know, drug abuse, relapse, recovery, whatever. Again, whatever type of mental anguish that you're going through, the gist and the point of it is, it's okay to not be okay, but never ever sit there and not be okay. Go get some type of intervention. Go get help talking with somebody, being a, a therapist, a grief counselor, a mom, dad, family, other family members, friends, picking up a hobby, you know, exercise, whatever the case may be. Go do whatever it is that you have to do to get your mental health in check and to make sure that you don't go off the deep end or take nobody with you. If you need it or know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 and or you can text 988 or if you'd like to text 741741, you can. For those that would prefer to go online, you can go to mentalhealthishealth.us or you can go to 988lifeline.org. For those that are outside the U.S., you can go to incounseling.com and it'll have a directory for each country um, for their provincial hotlines and uh, crisis website that they can visit. Again, it's spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G.com. And again, just remember, it is okay to not be okay, but never ever sit there and not be okay, especially during the holidays. A lot of people don't realize, but around the holiday season or Christmas time is the you know most depressing time. It's a, uh, uh, also the highest time for suicide rate as well. And so uh, I definitely want to advocate and push uh, mental health awareness and wellness uh, in society, especially within the black community, um, in the teens, uh, LGBTQ community, uh, women, uh, men, everybody out there. You know, we're all going through some type of mental anguish, no matter what our backgrounds are, where, no matter what side of the world we're on. Uh, and so with that being said and entitling with, you know, this vlog, why so much pain, no matter what pain that you, you're feeling or that you're going through, know that you are not alone and that you will get through it. We will get through it. Okay. So uh, closing out my vlog, you guys be on the lookout for next week. Uh, I got so much ahead. Uh, tune in tomorrow, dropping another motivational vlog for Mondays. And so uh, that's why, again, hit that notification. Definitely hit that subscribe button. And so when I drop these contents, you guys can get uh, that, that, that notification. And then you come on to Difference World and you come and learn about what's going on in your girl's world. Yeah. And so uh, with that being said, I'm head on out, you guys. And um, get to working on some other projects for you guys. And just remember, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you got to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you all. Difference will come and learn. Peace. What if? What if in 1619, Africans started dealing in slaves trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.